generation of faithful General Hospital fans, me, as Robert Scorpio. And now he's checking into General Hospital night shift. Please welcome Tristan Rogers. <laughs> Myself. Well, we won't say when, but no. that's, well, that's I was going to say that was a little intimate. You have known Whoopi for a, a, a long time, and you guys haven't seen each other in uh, a, a long while. time. Yeah. So how's it feel to see your friend again? Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I knew that show really well. We had a lot of problems. Good one, wasn't it? What yeah. was the show? Can we, what was <laughs> the what show? show was that? Well, you tell it, Tristan. Well, we, were, we had an organization called the American Cinema Award Foundation, okay. and we used to honor people who had made a significant contribution to the business. The night that we honored Whoopi, Frank Sinatra was the other half of the show, right? I'd never worked with Frank before or any of his people. And so when we did the show, the show, you never quite knew what was going to happen on the night. Right, right. Because you were dependent on these people turning up and working for free, right? Mm -hmm. And this particular night, we had the temptations. Right. And I was told, be prepared for these guys not to walk, not to turn up. Sure enough, they didn't disappoint. They didn't turn up. Right. <laughs> oh. So I'm sitting there thinking, who's going to open the show? Who's going to I said, the first person who walks in that door is going to open the show. And it was a guy called Davis Gaines who was doing Phantom of the Opera. Right. But of course, he wasn't prepared for the evening right. to open it. So he walks in the door, and I said, Davis, come in. And I said, how would you like to open the show? Oh, that'd be great, but I'm not prepared. Good. Just get out there and do it anyway. So he did, and he was great. Yeah. But Oh, it was kind of a groovy yeah, night. That's yeah, fine. That's fine. yeah, you know, I used to be a all that. <laughs> <laughs> we think I didn't you still you are. You well, still I didn't are. Have the last time you saw me. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Mm. Right on. <laughs> Just for what was it eleven years you were in General Hospital, right? Twelve. Twelve. Mm. So then, what what was the break? It was from what nineteen eighty one to nineteen ninety two. Nineteen eighty. 1980 to yeah. 1992. Yeah. So then why, what made you, yeah, what happened? decide to leave? Why'd you leave? I got fed up with it. You're tired of it? You yeah. really did? I just got done with it. You know, I had it. I just wanted to go. That was okay. it. So I did. And so then, then where did you go? go? Into unemployment. <laughs> <laughs> and then was that the reason you decided, because you're back now on the night shift, so what is, uh, what made you come back? Uh, the story. The story was okay. a really unusual story where we set about literally to deconstruct the character mm -hmm. and watch what he goes through. I mean, heroes don't get colon cancer. They right. get yeah. shot, they get pushed right. out of planes, they get attacked by animals, they don't get cancer. It's not very glamorous. Mm -hmm. So consequently, the, the nature of the story and the way it was presented to me, I thought, yeah. Well, you know what? We actually have a clip for our audience about your character having colon cancer and it's not looking really good. Let's take a look at this clip. Cards on the table. What? I can't do this. I can't win this one. Every... Every... Hero... has his moment. I think my time... has run out. <laughs> Now, She's Tristan, <laughs> Tristan, um, uh, your father uh, passed mm -hmm. away of colon cancer. Mm -hmm. Was it very, d how, how difficult uh, was it to do that scene? Uh, yeah, well, I didn't actually see him. I mean, I learned about it. Oh, okay. So I wasn't with him when it happened. But, you know, I had a few friends over here that had it and they were close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the whole idea was, at the time, I thought, well, if I can bring any kind of attention to it, and one person watches this show and then says, you know, maybe I'll go ahead and get tested. Mm -hmm. And I figured it's got to be all worthwhile. Of course. But after doing the, uh, the, the stand-up to cancer telephone, the one statistic that really stuck in my head was that one in three people are going to get cancer. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to go home and look at my wife and my two children and mm -hmm. think to myself, who's going to get it? So yeah. anything that I can bring yeah. to it, any, yeah. any uh, interest, any um, awareness, it's got to be all worthwhile. Yeah, you're doing it. Now, you worked with uh, Elizabeth Taylor when oh. she did General yeah. Hospital, which is pretty fantastic. 1981. Any stories you want to tell about this fantastic woman? Yeah. Um, How long was she on that show? 
She was there for one day. Oh, one day. Yeah. <laughs> Long enough, trust me. Yeah. Uh, Why, what'd she do? What? Was she a pain? Well, no, she wasn't, actually. She, we had to make some adjustments. You know, you don't just do a show with Elizabeth and not make right. adjustments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they started bringing in all of these crates of Dom Perignon pink champagne. <laughs> Who's ever seen Dom Perignon pink champagne? Anybody? I haven't seen it since. <laughs> So they bring in crates and crates of it. So during the scene that we had together, she's got her drink and I've got my watered down cranberry juice. <laughs> and uh, she said, um, do you want to try this? I said, well, what is it? Have a shot. Oh, that's good. I like that. That's nice. Finish it. Right. Four times this happened. <laughs> <laughs> this is, the scene hasn't even started yet, right? <laughs> so anyway, I guess the producer got fed up with this and walked on the set and said, well, she wasn't going to say anything to Elizabeth, so she sort of targeted me, right? She said, Tristan, will you stop messing around? We have a show to do. <laughs> so Elizabeth turned around and looked at him and said, who do you think you're talking to? Mm. I had close-ups on the back of my feet for three months after that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So she wow. stuck up for you. Yes. She actually did. She's a lady. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's lovely. She's funny. Yeah. She's a funny Tristan, woman. Thank you for coming by and just sharing some stories and letting us get to know you a lot better. Such fans of yours. And General Hospital Night Shift airs Tuesday nights on SoapNet. We'll be right back.